In order for you to really get to know who I am, I feel like I need to tell you a little bit about my educational background. As a young child, I always loved to read and learn, and I remember reading through the entire classroom library well before the end of the school year. When I was in high school, my science teacher, she pulled me aside and told me about a new program in Manhattan called Bard High School Early College. Now, Bard High School Early College was new in Manhattan, but it was based upon a model called Simons Rock College of Bard, which was affiliated with Bard College in Rhinebeck, New York. Simons Rock College of Bard operated under the philosophy that high school age students were ready to do serious coursework, and it provided a rigorous course of study and learning through the thinking process of writing, discussion, and inquiry. The only problem with Simons Rock College of Bard was that it was a private college, and the tuition was about $55,000 a year, which made it inaccessible to many New York City public school kids, as well as other kids across the nation. So in 2001, um, Bard College up in Rhinebeck and the New York City Department of Education collaborated to start a new school called Bard High School Early College. Bard High School Early College offered a college education to New York City public school high school students and it was completely tuition free. After four years of study at Bard High School Early College, a student would receive their Regents High School Diploma, which was the highest degree that you could receive in high school in all of New York City, as well as an associate's degree in liberal arts. When Bard High School Early College opened up in Manhattan in 2001, about 40 students applied and all were accepted. By 2002, the word about Bard High School Early College had spread through Manhattan and about 300 students applied for 60 seats. Um, the students who started in 2002 were incoming freshmen, not high school freshmen, but college freshmen. So what they did was, was they accepted what would be a typical high school junior into a typical 11th grade spot, and they started with your first and second year of college. Those students graduated with their associate degree. In 2007, which was three years after I graduated, 3,500 students had applied for approximately 150 seats at Bard High School Early College in Manhattan. Seeing the overwhelming demand that the educational institution had created throughout New York City, they opened up a second school in Queens, which was able to educate another 150 students per academic year. Um, the reason that Bard was so important to me was because being the second graduating class of this institution, we were constantly told that we were guinea pigs. We weren't sure how New York City and how colleges throughout the nation were going to accept our degree. In the beginning, since we only started in our first year of college, technically as juniors in high school, we never received high school diplomas. So as we were applying to college, um, we were trying to explain admissions officers that we had our associate's degree, but that we had never completed or graduated high school. So now students are receiving their Regents Diploma, which, like I had mentioned, was the highest form of, of high school diploma you can receive in New York City, as well as your associate's degree. But being one of the founding members of Bard High School Early College and seeing how well it has done and how well it has been received by people all throughout the New York City and the nation respectively, and seeing schools copying that model over and over all throughout New York City and throughout the nation is really fulfilling. And I just hope that um, myself, as long as my other classmates and those who had come before us and after us, are really grateful and enjoying the college experience that we received and through that appreciation have been able to extend the opportunity to other high school students throughout New York City and the nation as well. Here is an example of an educational lesson I created. I believe in a multidisciplinary method of teaching that I find works well for most children. By providing them with a plethora of teaching styles such as visual, auditory, and tactile examples, and teaching the same concept in a variety of ways, I find that many children have an easier time learning, retaining, and enjoying the information you are trying to convey. Personally, I also believe that most children have a tendency to really absorb information when it is presented in a hands-on manner. After a classroom lesson on dinosaurs, I took a preschool-age child to a one-on-one -on -one field trip to the dinosaur wing of the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. In order to help my student understand how the dinosaur bones, or skeletons, translated into complete animals, I showed her an example of a skeleton that was placed near a replica of what the dinosaur would have looked like as a living being. 
in an age-appropriate manner, I explained to her that the bones, or skeletons, of the dinosaur are just like the bones that we have inside us, but that a long time ago, when the dinosaurs were alive, they had skin and were able to walk around just like we do today. Next, I explained to her that there were two types of dinosaurs, herbivores that only ate grass, leaves, and other types of plants, and carnivores that ate meat. Carnivores, I told her, had big, sharp teeth to help them chew their food. I then showed an example of a carnival skeleton with sharp, pointy teeth. As we moved through the museum, we came across an example of dinosaur feet. I encouraged my young student to touch the hands on exhibit so she could see how big the feet of dinosaurs really were. After we left the dinosaur wing, we went to the discovery room on the first floor of the museum where there was a hands-on exhibit specifically designed for young children. In the discovery room, my student really enjoyed interacting with the various exhibits. In the exhibit shown, each draw had a different specimen to observe. After giving her a microscope, she soon began opening drawers and was ready to explore. In the first drawer, she was excited to find a tarantula, or as she called it, the biggest spider she had ever, ever seen. In the next drawer, she came across a starfish. I explained to her that the starfish was a skeleton, just like the dinosaurs that we had seen upstairs. But unlike the dinosaurs that we had just seen, the starfish lived in the ocean and not on the land. When she was done, I helped her close all the drawers and clean up the hands-on exhibit. On the way back from the museum, I provided my young student with the flipbook, all about dinosaurs, to help extend the science lesson that we had just enjoyed. But providing her with yet another form of learning, it not only further engaged her interest in dinosaurs, but it gave her the ability to enjoy yet another hands-on dinosaur activity in an age-appropriate manner. Working with the county the past year in children and youth, I've really found that I've overcome obstacles that I wasn't quite sure if I could. For example, having so much experience working with younger children, I wasn't quite sure how I would fare with middle school students and high school students, and at first I was extremely nervous. However, I soon learned that it's the same thing as working with younger children, except that they are older, and the lessons that you teach them might be a little bit different, and the lessons that they teach you in return might be a little bit different as well. Having that experience has really taught me not to be afraid of something and to accept it, even if it's something new and different. For example, an age group of children you're not used to working with. In general, I hope that you guys really enjoy getting to know me better through my video and through my WordPress, and that now you have a good idea of who I am and the experiences that I can bring to the table for your agency. Thank you very much, and have a great day. Bye!